begin by marking out the location of the wall from the drawings or by agreement with the engineer or customer. Excavate a trench 300mm deep and 600mm from front to back. The front of the trench should be approximately 150mm in front of the desired wall face. Compact the base of the trench using a plate compactor or heavy tamper. Lay 150mm of foundation material and compact again. Ensure the compacted level is 150mm below ground level, giving the first block greater stability. When laying the first course of blocks, turn the block over and use a bolster and hammer. Knock off the rear lip. Turn the block back over and lay it in position on the compacted levelling pad. Set a string line 300mm from the desired wall face and in line with the back of the blocks. Check the alignment from front to back as well as side to side. Repeat to complete the first course of blocks. Fill at the front of the wall with soil. Fill the back of the wall and the cores with drainage stone. Single-sized aggregate, 10 or 14 mm is ideal. After filling, brush the tops of the blocks to remove any excess material, ready for the next course. Set the second set of blocks directly on the first layer. Ensuring the alignment lip is pushed fully forward against the lower block. Each block should sit equally on two blocks below. This avoids vertical joints and makes a stronger wall. To ensure proper drainage of the wall, lay a perforated drainage pipe behind the blocks at this level. This pipe needs to run to a suitable outfall at least every 15 metres along the wall length. Before backfilling, check the alignment and level of this course of blocks and adjust if necessary. Backfill behind and inside the blocks with more drainage stone. Keep the level of this stone approximately 25 mm below the top of the blocks as this makes laying the next course easier. Brush the surface of this course of blocks again, ready for the next course. Repeat this process for each following course, checking level and alignment as you build. Fill the cores of each course with drainage stone before laying the next. We recommend laying no more than two courses at a time. The drainage stone behind the wall should extend 300 mm from the back of the blocks. Backfill behind the drainage stone with soil, compact using a plate compactor or heavy tamper. But don't compact the drainage stone. Continue repeating this process for each following course, checking level and alignment as you build. When the wall reaches its planned height, backfill the last course with soil only, laid up to the back of the blocks. To finish the wall, fix the cap units using a suitable waterproof masonry adhesive 